Hey guys, I'm Mr. Chukwa Black. Welcome to another awesome video. So, if you are, if you want to buy BNB from us, or if you want to buy Ethereum, here's one, to one, one thing you have to know, okay? Or two or three things you have to note. Number one, it's going to cost me gas fee to send it to you. You get what I'm saying? Also, it's going to cost you gas fee when you want to use the coin. Because most people who are buying BNB, Ethereum, Tron are normally buying it to use that gas fee, okay? Also Solana, some other people are also buying it to invest, okay? So, if you are buying it to use it to like invest or maybe you're using it to pay gas fee, all right? Or maybe you're using it to subscribe to a new airdrop, anything you want to use it for, okay? Here's what you need to know. It's going to cost me gas fee to send it to you, so you have to factor that in. You, have to have, you also have to factor in the market fluctuation of the assets, okay? Lastly, you have to factor in, <coughs> sorry, you have to factor in how much gas fee you will need to perform the task you want to do, okay? It's very important, it's very important you know this because you might need $5 and you say, hey, I want to buy $5. Or maybe you want to buy five dollars worth of let's say uniswap or a your coin for example and you say you need five dollars now this is what's going to happen five dollars will be processed to you in bnb on sending what i'm sending for a centralized exchange or a, or a decentralized wallet gas will be deducted upon arriving to your wallet you also need to Pay for something. Let's say you want to pay for Uniswap, you want to pay for a Lodio coin. Okay, you also need gas fee. Okay, so you always have to factor in what is the gas fee. Like when people want to buy Tron for me, it's better I tell them it's better you tell me how much Tron you need in total. I'll factor in the gas fee and tell you how much it will cost you. Or you want to buy BNB Smart Chain and you want to use it to subscribe to an airdrop and they have a specific amount of bnb you want to pay or maybe you selected the amount of token you want to buy let's say you selected the amount of allergy token you want to buy and it shows you the amount of the how much it is how much is required or what the value is you don't just go and buy five dollars alone you have to factor in the gas fee knowing fully well that there is cost to sending it to you there's also cost when you want to use it to purchase anything you want to purchase. Okay? It's very important to know this. So I agree what I'm saying, especially for those who are, you know, heavy into airdrops. Okay? Like most people, what I tell them is this. If you want to avoid the unstable nature of the asset you're dealing with, whether it's, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Tron, the best thing you can do is convert it to a stable asset. Then, when you send USD, when you send USDT Dai, whether it's USDT, whether it's Dai, whether it's uh, USDC, okay. When you send the stable coin, okay, the value you send is also the value we are going to operate in. It's as simple as that. It makes life easy, okay. So it's very important that you guys know this okay very important that you guys know this it's not just a disclaimer it's very important that you guys know this so that if you decide to do a, a an altcoin transaction it's very important that you or on an unstable coin transaction it's better you know that it's going to cost you this this and this and you have to factor this okay so if you want to buy bnb if you want to buy bitcoin if you want to buy ethereum you always have to factor in the gas fee. Very important. Okay? Okay? Alright. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And bye for now.